I am quite sure that if you are a poultry farmer, you have definitely encountered paralysis in your flock. And this paralysis causes losses to farmers because the affected chicken either dies or needs to be culled off to avoid further losses. And that is why in this video, I want to share with you prevention measures using organic supplements so as to keep off these chicken paralysis from your flock. Most farmers identify paralysis as lameness in chicken. And this is so because paralysis is a condition that occurs due to the lack of proper functioning of the nerves leading to the breakdown of the information flow or the nerve impulses from an organ to the central nervous system in the brain of the chicken and this makes the chicken unable to control the affected organ especially on the chicken legs or the wings or even the neck but before we continue with this video, kindly if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time that I post a new video on this channel. Also, if you get to learn from our videos, make sure to hit that like button. For the purposes of this video, I am going to discuss chicken paralysis based on three major classifications based on what causes this chicken paralysis. And the number one is the nutritional paralysis. And this is caused due to the deficiency of certain nutrients in the feed. And the second type of paralysis is the infection or the disease paralysis. And as the name suggests, it is paralysis that is due to diseases or infections. The third type of paralysis is the one that is caused by external factors. And these factors include the injury, toxins, and also the parasites. To avoid mixing you up, I am going to discuss each category of the paralysis with its own organic supplement or treats. Let's get to the first paralysis, that is the nutritional paralysis. And we, as we have said, it is caused by the nutrient deficiencies, especially the vitamins and minerals. Usually, it is very rare to find it in free-range chicken because these free-range chicken have an opportunity to, you know, go out into the, into the farm and, you know, peck on this vegetation which contains minerals and also they feed on these worms and other insects therefore they are able to supplement themselves with the vitamins and minerals but the first cause of nutritional paralysis is vitamin e deficiency and this causes the crazy cheek disease and some of the signs of this crazy cheek disease due to vitamin e deficiency is the twisted head the cheeks keep off keep falling off on its back and also the cheek will have stretched legs the other cause is the vitamin b deficiency which causes curled toes and uh, you know the chicken becomes lame that is it is unable to move the third most common cause of nutritional paralysis is the calcium and phosphorus deficiency and also imbalances. Calcium and phosphorus are very key minerals when it comes to bone formation in the chicken. Therefore, any kind of deficiency or imbalance of these two minerals causes bone deformation, which leads to rickets in chicken, causing lameness. And the best cure for this nutritional paralysis is prevention by supplementing chicken with the leafy green vegetables. For example, the spinach, the kales, the broccoli, or the dandelion leaves, and also the pumpkin. And these vegetables contain a wide variety of vitamins and minerals that are going to help prevent these deficiencies. Also, for the case of uh, the calcium and ph phosphorus deficiency and imbalances, make sure that you buy your feeds from a reputable manufacturer. Another thing, you can supplement your birds with fish. To learn about how you can supplement your 
your birds with fish to avoid these deficiencies, hit the video that should pop up on your right hand corner of your screen. Now, the second paralysis is the infection or disease paralysis. And the good thing about the disease that mostly cause this paralysis is that they are preventable through vaccination. That is, and the most common ones are the Newcastle disease and the Malex. You just have to make sure that you vaccinate your birds at the right time. For example, for the Malex, it is recommended that it should be vaccinated before the chicks leave the hatchery. And the Newcastle disease, make sure that you have a verified vaccination schedule so that you can be able to prevent your, your chickens effectively. The only disease here that usually cause paralysis in terms of lameness and need attention is the bumble foot. And the bumble foot is an infection on the underfoot of the chicken due to bacterial infection. And these types of bacteria are the Staphylococcus aureus. And after infection, the affected part becomes black and contains pus. And therefore, it is painful to the chicken. And therefore, that is why this causes lameness. Follow this procedure to treat this infection. The third type of paralysis is caused by external factors. And we have said these factors are injury or the parasites and also the toxins. I want to concentrate on the parasite. And the parasite of concern here is, the spe is specifically the scaly leg mites. And the scaly leg mites usually burrow into the scale of the chicken's legs where they suck blood, lay eggs, and defecate, leading to the chicken be having rough legs. And to treat these scaly leg mites naturally, use diatomaceous earth, garlic juice, and the neem oil. If you want to know about everything and have a better understanding on how to eliminate these scaly leg mites from your chickens, I suggest that you hit the video that should pop up on your right. I'll also leave a link to this video in the description of this video. The toxin of concern is the aflatoxins and these are found in poorly stored feed ingredients or even the feed itself. Ways of preventing these dangerous toxins in the feed is number one by storing the chicken feed safely and also avoid feeding moldy feeds to the, chick, uh, to the chicken. Also, to avoid all these kinds of problems, buy feed in monthly batches. That is, buy feed that you are going to know is go only going to take you for about one month. And this is to avoid, you know, uh, poor storage of feeds which can predispose them to a flat toxins. As you look forward to use these preve organic preventative measures to eliminate paralysis in your chicken, I also recommend that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to deal with paralysis specifically in the broiler chicken.